Everyone knows how much I love our fans. So when one of them tweeted me a video of a UFO that interrupted their shopping trip, let's just say it really wormed its way into my heart. Take a look. February 2022, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Proof viewer Bruce Lawney is picking up his son to go to the hardware store. Their outing gets put on hold when Bruce spots a long, dark shape hovering high in the sky above them. We looked up in the sky, and all of a sudden, we saw this kind of anomalous feature and didn't know really what it is. Look closer. As Bruce starts filming, his son, Christian, provides the color commentary. What the f is that thing? It's just worming through the air. I mean, it, it took us back because at first it was horizontal, then it turned vertical. It's turning. And it looked between 40 and 60 feet long. It's huge. It was definitely not anything that I have ever seen. Bruce was quick to reach out to us on Twitter because, as a fan of the show, he believes there's something else up there. Actually, I'm a pretty firm believer in that because even if you go back throughout history, you can see two, three, four thousand years ago depictions of objects in the sky that can't be explained. As author Amy Title points out, almost every ancient culture has tales of strange, worm-like flying objects. There are a lot of myths in different cultures concerning worm-like beings, although sometimes they're more serpents or dragons that can move through the sky. UFO investigators wonder if these legends are how the ancients described UFOs. In 1561, observers in Nuremberg, Germany, described an assortment of these objects orbs, crosses, rods, and malleable strips. At the time, it was interpreted as a sign from God, but it's been speculated the objects may have been engaged in some kind of extraterrestrial battle. In our modern era, when people spot sky worms or other UAPs, they don't just pray, they often call the cops. In April 2022, above Lazy Mountain in Alaska, there was a sighting of a worm-like object in the sky. And there were enough eyewitnesses that police were dispatched to the area to see whether it was a UFO or a downed plane. After finding no wreckage, state officials blamed the phenomenon on the contrail from a New York-bound jetliner. But this strange object doesn't appear to have anything to do with a plane. The way this thing spins around in the sky is unlike any aircraft I've ever heard of. Let's take a closer look at that sudden rotation of the object. It's this counterclockwise motion happening right here that is really intriguing to us. If we time it, that's about a 180 degree turn in less than 10 seconds. So what kind of estimated 40 to 60 foot craft could make that speedy move? Let's see what our experts think. Aviation analyst Tim McMillan agrees there's something strange on Bruce's video. It's certainly odd. <laughs> it, it doesn't readily resemble an aircraft, a helicopter, or any type of object that you would typically see traveling through the sky. And there's no distinguishable pattern to its flight path. What McMillan doesn't see is evidence of any of the dazzling, possibly alien tech documented in other UFO sightings. You don't see any extreme speeds and then right angle turns, you know, instantaneous acceleration, abrupt deceleration. We don't see any of that. It moves very consistently with something that is either achieving lift or being propelled solely on wind motion. If the object isn't controlled by aliens in space, is it possible it's controlled by a human holding a string? Whatever this object is, it has a definite orientation it wants to maintain towards the ground, so which would suggest there's something holding it down or a payload that's keeping it that way. So that would certainly be consistent with a kite. If the apparent size of Blake's object makes the kite theory sound far-fetched, consider this. The world's largest kite, flown in the Middle Eastern nation of Qatar, stretches over 200 feet. That's large enough to potentially lift the kite flyer into the air. You certainly could have a kite that, that would be oddly shaped like this, or perhaps a more conventional kite that has a long tail that's giving us this appearance. Video effects designer and astronomer Mark D'Antonio agrees with many of McMillan's observations, but he does not agree with the kite theory. This could very well be a solar balloon. Those are long and thin and black, like we see here. And because they're black and they're absorbing the sun's radiation, 
the air inside tends to get warm and it will start rising. And the same principle as a hot air balloon. And so what people do with these solar balloons is they hold them out lengthwise, they let the sun heat it up, and eventually when it stands up, you kind of push it a little bit into the air and off it goes up into the sky. Our verdict, solar balloon, or as Blake's son Christian would put it, a bleeping solar balloon. The color, shape, and way it moves seems pretty conclusive.